Okay, so I am trying to um, program this new BTEC DMR 6x2. If I can get this over where I can see a little better. Um, I have it currently uh, connected with the cable to the USB port. I've loaded the driver. The driver works. I've been able to upgrade the firmware and the icons. Um, but what I'm trying to do is so I'm trying to actually do the uh, programming for all the channels and everything. And first thing I'm trying to do is just actually pull the data from the radio to the um, computer uh, for the instructions. So. Unfortunately, you got to look at me. So if you can look on the screen, first of all, I've got the ports. This one, this GD32 Virtual Com port, COM5, that is the one. When I turn the radio on, that one appears. So that's that's the one, and I've got the driver there. You notice that it's a uh, device working properly. COM port settings, um, in the instructions, it wants to use a number that doesn't exist. Um, on here, so I mean the 9600 and the 115 200 are two of them that work um, and, and exist. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm leaving it at 96 right now. I don't care if it's a little slow. I'm, I'm not looking for blazing speed. I just want it to actually connect. It's funny. It's right. Here's my COM5. Here's my DMR software. Uh, the radio itself is. Uh, version the firmware is at 1.03 so I launch this um, software here 1.03 this is the one that I used to actually uh, upgrade the firmware so I know the cable is good and everything set com port is com5 if I wanted to actually do the firmware upgrade checking here com5 9600 if now um, anyway so that's what that is, is setting there but I just want to download this read data from the radio other data and this one to get I don't get a com port error like it can't open the com port it just sits here and um, I'll leave it here for quite a while and just kind of see what happens but um I realized when powering this up to do the channel or the um, config files, you hit two of the buttons on the on the, uh, below the the push to talk and the bottom button below that when turn it on to get it in update mode. When you're doing the firmware, you do the push to talk and the orange button on top, the panic button. So there's two different kind of update modes, so to speak. Um, but I, I, according to the instruction, unless I'm just really, really missing something here, um, it should be reading this, and I'm getting nothing.